All right. What's up? What's up? It's your boy Jack of All Trades, Double J in the house. I'm out here uh, working on this uh, 2010 Dodge Caravan, Grand Caravan, and we changing these struts right here. You know what I'm saying? The rear struts is bad boy. Uh huh. There we go. There's a set right there. And right now, as you can hear, it is raining, man. There we go, there we go, there we go, yeah, there we is. And I already go far, I got my little spot down here. Getting wet, getting wet, but uh, get it done. So I got this jacked up. So, so far I already got that bolt off right there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm gonna knock that bad boy out from the back side right there. It was a 19 and I think a 17. And then that'll come down and I'll take that one off right there. Hurry up. That's what I'm about to do. Alright, I'm working on this car. This little ca uh, so I can't get a bolt, um, a piece in here to hold the, there's a nut that's in the screw on this side. I think I can get my camera in there if you see it. Uh, right in there, and other, there's right there. I can't get nothing in there to hold that. Right here. So I'm gonna take this whole mount off. Right there. And let it drop down, take it off once I take it off. Yep. That's what I got going on. And then that should be able to, and I got my stacks jack stands up here now, like I have. Um and then that this should be able to come out properly. And I put it back in the same way. I took it off. Alright. So I already got those broken. So What screw is this? This is a. Uh... Five eighths. Fit right on top of it. There's a snug on it. This is on this side. Let me compare it. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Don't really matter what goes where. on that thing and it should be able to just pop right off and fall down for me. Okay. Alright, that's what I need right there. Take those pieces off. And it's just loose. Now I should be able to free this bottom part. Mm -hmm. But now it's not holding nothing. Go ahead and pause this so I can get in there. So when it ended up looking like I had to unscrew it. So, so it's, 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 it's a, actually a screw. Piece out. I should be able to it out. Just stop this down. 
Go ahead and cut that down. Like so. Uh -huh. Open out. You take this piece here. <sighs> and break that mud net. I mean. Okay, that's a 19, and then I need a 19 and an 18. So I'm gonna do this on this side, like so, and do this on that side and break it, so I need both hands for that. y'all get to all right so this is what i end up doing this way like that holding it from the top have this flush down to the bottom of the ground like this and holding this side with my left hand and use this side to crank it down all right that's all so i'm gonna keep this just like this Go in there and get the other part and reverse sequence it. Alright, so here's the new piece right here beside the old piece. As you can see, it's got a little bit of. So, it's pretty new. So, I'm gonna take this bolt off, put this right back in the same position, and then screw it in. Alright, so I took it off, and as you see, just the bushing. Yeah, that wasn't supporting no more. Look at that. Yep, all gone. So, I need both hands to put this new piece in and. Okay. I got that piece on. So now I'm about to bolt it back. And with this being said, now I gotta go the opposite direction. Um to get it in so all I'm gonna do is all I'm gonna do is go turn it this way and use my right hand and go so now I'm gonna I gotta hold that left side down while I turn this side here and that'll get it tight So how do I know when it's tight? When I, I'm gonna have this snugged up where it don't move. 
and then place this in the position back up inside the truck right here in this wheel we put the bottom in first down here Right there, and then go from there. So I'm gonna pause it because I need both hands to get this done. All right, all right, I got that bad boy on. Now I'm about to go ahead and put the sucker right up in that spot again. Okay, just gotta work it in. I'm gonna need both hands for this, y'all. So that's basically what I gotta do. I'm gonna work it in here and then raise it up from here to there. All right, come back at you. All right, got it up there. Now I just gotta pry it forward. A little bit more. All right, so I see the problem. It's this right here. See how it's bent it? I gotta figure out how to fix that because that's why it's not going flushed in. That's damaged. I'll try to take my pliers or something and try to. Bend it out best I can. I'll be back at you guys. Ah. Alright, I got it as much as I can, I think. Basically, I took my grip box, like so. Put on the smallest one. Grab that bad boy like this. Just kind of flex it. You know, pushed it to the can. And that's what we do. So hopefully, that should give it a shot. All right, let me get this bad boy up in here. And see. Oh yeah, yes sir, that works. There we go. Guess I just got to get it in straight. Okay, now I gotta grab my, I'm gonna grab the uh, bolt, which is inside that tire. There you go. Perfect, it's right here. I'm gonna place that bad boy right here. All right. I just want to finger tight right now until I mount this thing up here the bracket with those four screws right there bolts and that's what we're gonna do alrighty just about done so I got those started one two three and four and this is already mounted so I don't know about that got this bolt right here ready and maybe you're gonna do it to the other side so Pretty much the job is done. You gotta get these to torque spec and that other one's to torque spec and boom. As you can see, it's still raining. Boys out here doing it. Ugh. All right, thanks Wally, out, peace.